too funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the sheep. Get the sheep. <laughs> oh. This is funny, but it's almost heartbreaking. <laughs> Hello, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Ah. It has been a trying couple days, and it's going to be a couple more days of being tried. <laughs> so, as you know, or most of you know, for the new people that have just subscribed, you probably won't know, but um, I've been having some issues health wise, and I went to, I went and got a appointment with my doctor and he wanted me to do a slew of tests. So I've been doing that. That's why I haven't been around. <laughs> um, yesterday I had to go for a, blood, a full blood panel, urine test, um, ECG, and then I had a heart monitor put on. <sighs> And I have a little video clip here. <laughs> Hi everybody. So today's been a bit of a day. I uh, had to go and get a heart monitor put on. That's what this is. I got... Ha ha ha, funny guy. Uh, I can't wear a bra with it because okay. I'd have to wear a bra to bed and that wouldn't be any fun. Um, I got 10 vials of blood taken out of me today, and I had an ECG done, and then tomorrow I have, what have I got tomorrow? I have, uh, oh, I got to get my sleep apnea, oh, George just came home. <laughs> um, so I have a sleep apnea test that I have to get done, and that's a 24-hour thing, and there's something else. Pregnancy oh, death. yeah, no. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, I know what I have to do. When I get this heart monitor taken off tomorrow morning, then I have to go to Madrona and I have to get some x-rays on my hands, find out what's going on with this finger. And I've also got this pinky. I don't know if you can tell. It's, um, I've got arthritis really bad coming in on this finger. It's killing me whenever I crochet because I turn my pinky in when I crochet for some reason. So, but with this heart monitor, I have to write down everything I do. So, so, yeah, so I have to write down when I'm walking, when I'm driving, when I'm eating, when I'm peeing, when I'm pooping, when I'm yeah. like, I have to write down everything. So, took a little bit out of me. I had to go and have a nap <laughs> at like 10 o'clock this morning and I woke up at 2. That's why I look like this. So yeah, so that's how it's, and then I've got an appointment, a phone appointment on Friday for my doctor to tell me some of my results, like my blood tests and my, oh, and I had to get a urine test. Um, so he's going to tell me the results of that. And then September 3rd, no, September 4th, I have an appointment to go get a physical done with another doctor. And well, we're on here, have you written down that you were crocheting? Yeah, I didn't know if crocheting was part of it. <laughs> yeah, it's affecting your heart rate. Every yeah, time you see yarn, your heart beats faster, right? <laughs> when you go to Michael's, your heart rate goes up. Yeah, I couldn't go to Michael's today because I'm not wearing a bra. So. You can't really see anything. Yeah, it's the matter of my boobs are supposed to be up here, not down, mm. you know, anyway. <laughs> There's no so, other way my boobs like that, right? Yeah, well. So anyways, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm going to attach this to a, the next vlog that I'm doing. So just cooking dinner, which I had to write down. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm glad it's only for overnight because, man, I couldn't do this every day. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> so that was fun. 
not. I had to write every little thing down. It was ridiculous. And I had wires, like you didn't see it on the video because I couldn't take my shirt off. But I had the heart monitor was wrapped around my neck and around my waist. And the heart monitor was sitting like right between my boobs. And it was like this big. And then there was like umpteen million wires all attached. And I had to wear shorts and a shirt to bed last night. They had a big mesh um, shirt thing on me so that everything kind of stayed in place. But I couldn't sleep last night. It was just, it was crazy. So I probably have like massive bags under my eyes. And that's why I'm drinking coffee. At like in the afternoon. <laughs> So anyways, that's done. I had that taken off this morning. Uh, I couldn't get that off fast enough. And then tomorrow, uh, oh, I went for x-rays today on my hands to find out what's wrong with this finger, find out if it's trigger finger or if I actually broke something in there or uh, whatever. And then this finger has been bugging me like crazy. I don't know if you can see right on the side I've got this big bump and I know it's arthritis but oh my god this knuckle is just killing me all the time doesn't matter what I do to try and help relieve the pain I've put pain cream on I've taken painkillers I've done ice I've done heat I've done like just everything and it's not working and it's like for those of you that have arthritis in your hands you're going to understand what I'm about to say it almost feels like you can feel your knuckle growing. Like it's just, uh, it's really hard to explain, but the pain hurts so much. It almost feels like you can feel it expanding. And it's just like, oh my God, like uh, there are some days I just want to chop off my finger. I just, oh, it's awful. But anyway, so, um, Tomorrow night, I get to do the sleep apnea test. Yay. Again, I have to strap on this thing and I have to have the nose prongs in and I have to sleep with that all night. I'm going to knock my ass out tomorrow. I'm going to, yeah, like I, because I'm not going to sleep at all. And then the test will be wasted. So I'm going to, um, I've got these new vitamins. They're minerals from USANA and those things kick my butt. They make me sleep in such a deep sleep. Um, and then you wake up refreshed in the morning. They're wonderful. And I just got some. I haven't had them in years. And I thought, you know what? I need to sleep. So I'm going to start taking these. And they're, they're vitamins. And they're vitamins that your body needs. And I also have the antioxidants. So I'm hoping that's going to help too. So I'm trying everything in my power to get myself better. So, and having said that, the retreat that I was thinking about going on is off. Um, number one, I got a lot of comments from everybody that was concerned and saying, you know, I think that it's, it might be too much. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the biggest loser. And when, when you do that kind of extensive weight loss so quickly, it's not good for your body. <clears throat> but, um, also, I don't think my body can handle it because I tried to do a couple of, like a few sit-ups uh, one night and I was down for two days. My back just went, eh -eh, nope. So I says, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do the retreat because I'm last thing I need is to be out there for a month and half of it is I'm flat on my back. So there's two ways to skin a cat. Yes, there is. I found out that Cat Smiley has a couple of books out. One of which is the diet that she does on her retreat. And this is the book that she gives everybody. So plant friendly diet. Uh, in this book, it's got all of the diets and everything. It tells you the days, like what day you're on, 
uh, and everything like day one, day two, day three. Then it's also got a log. Like you, you can put your, your daily log in there. So this is the exact book that she uses. So I got that and I'm waiting for the other book to come, but it's a bunch of exercises that she does at the camp. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to do it my way on, at my pace and use the books as a guide. And I don't have to spend a ton of money. It cost me $60 for both the books opposed to a lot <laughs> going to the retreat and I'll have Bailey with me. So it's all good. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm, I'm really excited. I just got this book today in the mail. So yay. Uh, so I just have to wait for the other book and then I'm off to the races. Um, what else? Okay. I've got a bunch of stuff to show you. Well, a bunch for me. I haven't been showing you guys much of anything lately. I've just been jabbering. Uh, okay. So let's get, let's do this first. I just went to the post office and I mailed off a couple of uh, packages to people. And I just got a, um, a card and this is from Monica, uh, Monica. Oh, I said this wrong last time back. <laughs> uh, she was one of the winners of the giveaway and she sent, oh, this is just gonna, you guys can see my address because it's down below anyway, but, oh, let's see if you can see this. Look at this. That's the stamp. Like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then she's got this little thing and it says, uh, she says, but first, llama, take a selfie. <laughs> and then she's got a little llama on the back. It's so cute. The post office lady, I just love those guys. She was saying, I love this. Because <laughs> she was the one that put it in my post office box. She goes, I can't believe that there's a Bert and Ernie um, uh, stamp out there. She's like, the, and I work for the post office. <laughs> so it says, thank you. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> says, thank you, Sandy and George, for the beautiful yarn and treats. Hugs. Monica, that is so cute. Thank you so much, Monica. You didn't have to do that, but that was so appreciated. I will, uh, I will put that up here. I'm attached to a mic, so I can't turn around and put that up, but I will put that up there. I got to get another thing. Like, I don't know when I, when I rearrange all of this, I will, um, have to find some way to string, uh, all my cards up. Ah, yeah, actually talking about redoing this room, I have to because I can barely walk in here right now. Oh, my daughter T is coming. Yay! She's coming the first week of September. Uh, so she's going to hopefully help me with this. Right, kid? <laughs> she's excellent at um, doing organization. So she's going to make this seem really easy, I hope. She, when I showed her, when she watched the video of my yarn disaster, she was, she sent me a message right away and went, really, mom, really, you think you have enough yarn? Really? I was just like, I know. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay. You don't have to tell me. So what does Sandy do today? She goes out and buys more yarn. <laughs> it's, that's okay. I'm a yarn addict and I admit it. Okay. I have been trying for the longest time uh, to get on the bandwagon with the Annie's monthly uh, subscription. Sandy from Left is Right Crochet was showing some of the ones that she gets and I was just like, I want that. Well, asking you shall receive. Uh, Madonna sent me, Madonna Ballard sent me, uh, the link that I needed to use and I went, okay, fine, here we go. 
So I ordered it. $30, right? The first one I get is this one, which is great, but number one, the yarn color is wrong. And number two, this is a two weight yarn. I can't use a two weight yarn. I get cramps in my hands enough. Um, I, I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed. So there's the yarn. I'm not even fond of the color, to be honest. This is the It's a Wrap. The color is Festi Fest Fiesta. And it's a two weight. And it is acrylic. Uh, 90, 90, no, 55 acrylic and 45 cotton. It's really soft. It's nice. I just can't use it. I mean, <sighs> I can't use that. So guess what, guys? It's your lucky day. I'm giving this away. So comment down below. Uh, it's called a lunar tunic. So right there. Okay. So when you comment down below, put in lunar tunic. Whether you say, I'd like to have the lunar tunic or whatever you say, that is the key word, lunar tunic. Okay. And, um, and I will be giving this to someone that can use it because I can't. Yay! <laughs> okay. Next things. Oh, I got uh, my monthly Sashka bracelets. It's the white ones. Two white ones. I'm getting to be like Granny D now. I've got, <laughs> I've got like tons of them. Okay. Um, what else should I show you? Oh, uh, I was telling you in the last video, I think, that I got the yarn from Rosalie and I was starting to, I was starting to finish. <laughs> I was going to finish this, the blanket that I was doing, that I was using the Arabella. Not quite finished yet. I'm, I've got two more rows to do with the Arabella and then I'm going to line it with the, um, the other yarn. What's it called? <laughs> I can't remember the color of this. Uh, Abergine. That's it. Uh, but I wanted to <laughs> show it's getting like really big. It's holy cow. It's like huge. Ah. This is... Uh, I can't even <laughs> it's big like really big um so it's going to be a couple more about three or four more rows uh to do on this and then it will be finished so I'm glad for that and it's heavy it's really heavy Oh, it's going to be a nice fall winter blanket for sure. So there's, I'm on a blanket kick lately. I don't know why, but I am. Okay. And the other blanket that I'm doing, uh, oh, I didn't bring the, oh, here it is. I'm using the, I love this, I, I, no, not I love, love this cotton. I love this yarn, prints, and the colorway is um, Peacock Tails and Red Heart Comfort. 
And this color, where is it? This color, it's 100% acrylic. Uh, wow, this doesn't have a color on it, really? It says no dye lot. Okay, well, it's teal. <laughs> I don't like this yarn. I've never used it before. But it feels like Super Saver, and I don't like it. I don't like working with it. It hurts my fingers. But I started it, and I'm hoping that when it gets washed, it's going to soften up because this one is soft. So I hate the fact that I had to mix it, that I mixed it with a, a non soft yarn. But anyway, I did because I only had a few, oops, a few balls of this. I just lined it, put the line like that on the top, and then I'm doing the rest of it in the blue, and then I'm going to do the bottom lined with this. And if I have any more left over, then I'm going to do the edging with it, with this, um, the peacock tails. And I did this with the cluster stitch. Oop, that's the wrong side. There's the cluster stitch. But I really like the way this turned out. It's really pretty. It's a yarn eater for sure. It is, um, it's a definite yarn eater. Like I'm on my second ball of this and this has 792 meters, 867 yards in it. And I'm on my second ball and that's all I've got. So I may have to go and buy a third ball. Blech. But so that I'm working on that. And this is this one takes a, a long time to do. The cluster stitch, it's not forgiving. I mean, I love the stitch. I love the way it looks, but it just takes quite a while to do. Um, and it, especially when you're using a 5 or 5.5 millimeter hook. So there's that. Okay. I just went to Michael's just for something to do because I, I just finished getting my x-rays done and having my monitor taken off. Oh, I look like hell. Um, and I figured I want to treat myself. I want to go see the new yarns. So... <laughs> Uh, so here's a couple of video or a couple of pictures of some of the yarns. Okay, now everybody's all the rage about those anniversary cakes. I'm sorry, I'm not paying $35, $39. For an anniversary cake. I don't know what how much it costs down the states, but up here they're $39. And granted, there's a lot of yardage in there. I just can't seem to do it. Right? And I'm not fond of all the colors. Like they're just they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, just like those bobbins, I don't think it's worth the, the money that they're asking for. Uh, but I mean, everybody just seems to love them. So, but I'm just not one of them. But I did something that I never do. I never do. Most of you that have been around me a long time know I love, love, love my, my Karen Latte cakes. Okay. I haven't bought any in a long time. Probably last winter was the last Karen Latte cakes that I ordered. My two favorite yarns are Huga and Latte. And one of these other cakes is becoming a fast third for me. But uh, what I did was I looked at the new Latte cakes and I just about freaking jumped out of my skin when I saw that they had a solid cream or white colored 
latte cake. I was like, are you kidding me? I've been waiting for them to come out with either a black or a white. And I never pay full price for these things ever, right? I wait till they go on sale. But because this was white, I paid full price. And here in Canada, or in BC at least, they are $11.99 a piece. Oh, travesty. But I just got paid. So, <laughs> and I just, I've been going through a lot with my health lately. And I went, you know what? Just do it. Because you don't know if when these go on sale, if you're going to be able to get it again. Uh, they'll probably sell out and then you'll be pissed because you didn't grab them. So I did. Okay, so this is the Lovely Layers collection. And it's Karen Latte. Uh, they're 58% acrylic, 42% nylon. They're bulky five. And this is cream. Oh, look at that. Isn't that... I mean, okay, so it's, it's cream. Big deal, right? I'll tell you something. When you're making a sweater or you're making something of a significant um, size or whatever, black and white or cream are your, are, you know, colors that you really need to have in your stash. And they came out with this. So... Oh, I bit the bullet and I bought, oops, where are they? Ah, two, three. I think I only bought three. Yeah, I bought three of them at $11.99. Oh my God, what am I thinking? But anyways... The reason why I bought three is because when I make a cardigan, like this one here, I usually use one cake each for each side. That's if I'm doing the whole thing in, in Karen Latte. It's less if I'm doing it with uh, a latte and a solid, like, I don't know, like this, okay? That's not a solid color, Sandy, but... Anyway, you know what I mean. So I bought three just in case. And then I've also got enough to have a matching hat. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm absolutely in love. I'm hoping they come out with a black or, you know, the solid colors that they had last, last summer or fall or whatever. I, I liked them, but the tomato red, I'm sorry, but that wasn't really red. That was more, that had a lot of orangey color into in it and stuff. And then they, you know, the colors were okay for what they were. The colors they have out right now in this collection are, I think, nicer. But having said that, <laughs> um, I think they could come out with more solid colors that um are rich like these these are all pastel-y kind of colors right so i think if they come out with like deeper richer color excuse me deeper richer colors i think that would be phenomenal god i'm falling apart um so here's hoping okay so this other yarn that i was talking about that i think is going to be my third favorite and this i'm hearing this from a few people okay the craft smart value i never touched this i've seen it in in michael's for a while and i've never wanted to touch it i've never wanted to look at it because i thought it was going to be like super saver i thought it was going to be like this i for some reason i saw oh the the new colors that came out I saw it and I was like, ooh, I love that color. And I touched it 
And I'll tell you something, this is buttery soft. This is even softer than this. I was shocked. So I bought a bunch and I made something with it. I can't remember what I made, um, but I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, I, I fell in love with this and I am going to buy more. I mean, it's only like four bucks, like three ninety something or other. And so for what it is, it's really inexpensive and it's so nice. It is so nice. If you get a chance to go to Michael's and get some of this, do because it is worth it. Uh, it is, I guess I should tell you all the stats, right? It's 215 yards, 197 meters. I have fluff in my mouth. Um, it is, this color is bluebell. It's a medium four and it's 100% acrylic. So I bought like six of these because I'm probably going to be making a sweater out of it. Okay, the other one I got, uh, and it was not on sale, but it, I mean, it wasn't bad price, like five something, uh, is Charisma. But I never saw this color before, and I just went, oh, like, I'm taking it right now. Uh, I did leave three behind saying uh the colorway is strawberry strawberry multi which doesn't make any sense because there's no red in this it's all purple and hopefully you can see the tones i mean it's just so pretty uh this it's bulky five and there's 109 yards. Yeah. And it's acrylic. Yeah. But it is so squishy soft. I love Charisma. I always have. They make phenomenal hats. But this color just, oh, it just, it drew me in like big time. So I grabbed six of these because I'm hoping to make a sweater. <laughs> I probably won't have enough for a sweater. I should grab the other three balls, but whatever. Um, okay, and then a couple of other things that I bought that are kind of yarny related. Oops. I think that was it. Um, I'm going to be making a few more stitch markers. So I got these. Oh, here, hang on. They're sparkly. Okay. And then I got some more bumblebees. Oh. Okay. And then I found these. I thought they were really cute. Pumpkins. Seems that Halloween's coming up. And then I found these because everybody seems to like the sugar skulls. So I'm going to be making those stitch markers soon. Soon, soon, soon. And I will be putting them into my Etsy. So my Etsy is down below if you want to go check it out. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute, shall we? I, a while ago, I got um, an order of the Premier Aurora. Now, this was when um, Premier was doing their big sale uh, or their clearance. You still, I think you can still get this. But, I mean, look at this blue. Like, it doesn't even do it justice in here. Like, it, it's just, it's such a vibrant blue. It's, when you look at it on the, um, the website, 
it still doesn't do it justice. When you have it in your hand, you go, holy cow, like that blue is just in your face blue. So um, I decided that I wanted to make a cardigan with this. I mean, it just screamed sweater. So I did, I've got a, a video tutorial on how to make this sweater. I'll leave that up here. Um, it, oh, here's the back. And then it's done with, I've got the, uh, the sleeves on it. And they're a little bit of a puff sleeve. Not a lot, but a little bit. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. I really do. It's, I'm deciding, trying to decide whether or not I want to keep this for myself. Um, I don't think it's quite long enough for me, but I don't know. I mean, if I, if I want to, I can always add to the bottom of this. And uh, actually, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll add to the bottom of it and then I'll keep it for myself. I never make anything for myself, really. You know, so, <clears throat> um, so these, all of my cardigans will be getting sold at some point, um, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, I just love the way that this turned out. I mean, the pattern, the way that the, like, because there's the marled and then there's the plain blue, right? And just the way it all kind of turned out, it, it was really cool. So... There you have that. Um, I think that's everything. You guys are probably going, oh, yeah, just shut up already. <laughs> okay, I want to say thank you to all of you that have sent me well wishes. Um, it, it means so much to me. It really does. Uh, you guys are the best. You guys are just wonderful. And the, the concern that you guys had sent. I heard you. I really heard you. Um, half, half of the people were saying, yeah, go for it. Go for the retreat. Do it. The other half was going, honey, slow your roll. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> slow your roll. Uh, you know, you might want to think about this. Go to your doctor. Get checked out. La, 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 la. Um, so I heard you. And you know what? You guys are right. Sometimes I jump before I, I look and I just, I really wanted to get this weight off and I wanted to be healthy. And I think that doing it fast and furious like that was not a good idea, you know, and I, I'm one, I'm kind of like all or nothing. Uh, so it's really nice that you guys were kind of going, pulling me back and saying, you yeah, think about this a little bit. <laughs> so, um, so thank you so much. I love you all. Okay. Um, so that's all I have for you. And I guess I will talk to you guys later. I, I just, you guys just, you guys humble me. You really do. So thank you. I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye.